Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video. In tonight's video, we are going to be talking about the Peacekeeper and how to make this weapon overpowered, the best class up for this weapon, and just talking and enjoying this gameplay and talking about the current state of Black Ops 4, some tips and tricks and why I think this weapon is very effective and stuff like that. First of all, I want to say a huge shout out to everyone supporting on my last video. It was absolutely amazing. I really do appreciate the support and I'm happy to be back in creating content on Black Ops 4. And of course, I'm super excited for for, let's be honest, Modern Warfare. Looking forward to that. I am, and I'm sure everyone else is. Leave in the comments down below if you are as well. Smack a like. Let's go for 720 likes. If we could hit that, that would be absolutely amazing. Go ahead and smack that like button. That would be awesome. Also, by the way, this gameplay here was um, when the Endurance uh, game modes were available on the feature playlist. So whenever that was like a week ago or whatever. And basically with that, I dropped, I think it was 174 kills this game, which was pretty effective. You can see, uh, I think I'll show it at the end. Uh, but yeah, playing on fire and range and with hard Point. Now, we were sort of dominating these enemies, so we didn't really have to play the objective too hard. The thing with kill streaks, and people always say, like, oh, play the objective. People think it's just throwing yourself at the objective over and over. That's not what, what it really is. It's about getting map control, getting kill streaks. And once you do that, you can really dominate and uh, sort of take the objective as you will, especially in like a public match. So, anyway, drop a like, subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And let's get right into it and talk about it because this class up is a little bit unique, I guess you could say, for this weapon, but it's something that I really, really do enjoy. So, I, as I was using it in this, this gameplay, I was just leveling up and going through the ranks. Uh, I have a ton of gameplays with this Peacekeeper because, of course, I was just ranking up the weapon, having a lot of fun with it, and I've been using this weapon uh, quite a bit lately. Uh, it's been one of my most used weapons uh, as of the last little bit. I've been playing quite a bit. So, let's go through the attachments. Now, first of all, what attachments are you going to want to rock? The first attachment is going to be plain and obvious, and that is going to be hybrid mags. Now, let me tell you guys about hybrid mags. If you haven't uh, heard, or you maybe it's been a while since I've talked about hybrid mags, you got to use it. You, you just got to use it. If you if you plan on taking on multiple enemies at basically anything, unless you're playing like a free-for-all or something like that, you pretty much are almost forced into using it if you want to have the best class setup. Because what hybrid mags is, is it's a mix of the extended mags and the fast mags, and it works almost perfectly on a weapon like this. I also like it on other things, I believe like the KN and uh, MX-9 and stuff like that, because it works on, it works perfectly for those sort of hybrid weapons. If you guys don't know, the Peacekeeper, I remember when this thing first came out in Black Ops 2, and I think they were calling it like a hybrid weapon. I don't remember if it was under assault rifle or SMG category exactly, but they were sort of promoting it as a hybrid weapon, and that's sort of what I think this weapon is as well. It's that one that you can rush with, but you can still win those fights at long range and not have that recoil. Reminds me a lot of the KN, but maybe a little more rush happy than that. So yeah, first attachment is going to be hybrid mags. Pretty self-explanatory. Just, just use it. It's the best. Coming in at number two for the attachment is going to be stock. Now, this one is pretty self-explanatory. Stock is another one that, just like hybrid mags, my stance doesn't really change. If stock is available on an assault rifle, I am going to pick it every single class up. Uh, at least as of right now. Who knows? Maybe that will change in the future. But that's how it's been for me, and that's pretty much how it's been for the entirety of Black Ops 4. So stock is so damn useful. For those players who, I know there's probably still a bunch of players out there who play without stock. And you might think it's good because, hey, I don't have to waste an attachment, but I'm telling you, I got addicted in what? Modern Warfare 3, Stalker. It wasn't an attach, Stalk wasn't an attachment, but it was Stalker the perk, I think. And that was, after that, I was like, oh my gosh, strafing left and right, you can really destroy people like that, and it gives you such a heads-up advantage against most players who are using weapons that don't even have Stalk available on them, and even if they do, they might not have the right class it up. So Stalk is so, so important for aiming down sights around corners and coming around, uh, you you know, if, if I'm running right here through the middle of the map and I'm going to where I, I know an enemy could potentially be or their spawn is going to be, you're sort of coming around the corner, aim down sight, and your gun up quickly and being able to be mobile with it, which stock helps with. Now, third attachment, speaking of getting your gun up quickly, quick draw, pretty self-explanatory on this one as well. Like I say, a hybrid weapon where you want to play this sort of a, a little bit more rush happy than your typical assault rifle. You want to play it uh, sort of at a mid-range sort of hybrid thing, right? And quick draw works perfectly for that. Uh, that is exactly what you want to do. And that is the attachment that I use just to get that aim down sights and that split second. I mean, Call of Duty is a twitch shooter. It always has been. It, I don't know if it always will be, but it always has been. And in this game, it's, it's changed a little because the health is 150 instead of 100, but it's still pretty much the same stuff. Twitch shooter, meaning whoever shoots first usually is going to win those fights. Not all the time necessarily in uh, Black Ops 4, but yeah, quick draw is just absolutely awesome for rushing on assault rifles for SMB. I, I love quick draw. Now, my fourth attachment, now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Those three attachments, I am 100% all in on. I will use those three. But when it comes down to the fourth attachment, this weapon is, this thing is a laser beam, by the way. I mean, this thing has literally like, it seems like literally no recoil. And it, it really does seem like that. So the fourth attachment here, 
back to the attachments. This one was a tough decision for me, and it was either between stock two, which what stock two is good for is basically allowing you to keep that aim as you're jumping, moving around and stuff like that, or rapid fire. And with this one, it really depends and it's situational. You know, in certain gunfights, if you're jump shotting around, if you're really good at that, you might want to go with stock two. If you're playing on a more up close and personal map, like if you're using this on like Morocco or something like that, you'd probably want to go with rapid fire. So that's the class setup. I think those two are sort of, uh, you can switch them up as you want. Me personally, I go with rapid fire the majority of the time, just because the difference between no stock and stock one is way bigger than the difference between stock one and stock two, just in my opinion. And having rapid fire fits this setup as well. You know, all these, when I build a class setup, I use it to the strengths of the weapons. That's that's majority of the time what you're trying to do, right? And the strength of this weapon is hybrid, up close, winning those gunfights, but still being able to win at range. And that's what I think these four attachments help with. So that's why we rock on this weapon. Now, of course, we are going kind of all in with the attachments, which isn't a crazy thing in this game because attachments are really strong and operator mods, stuff like that but perks really aren't that strong in this game. So as far as perks and gear, let's talk about it. Now gear, we have the comsec device, as you can see, pretty simple for that. I mean, street, it's Call of Duty and it's a Treyarch game. You need to get kill streaks if you wanna get high kills. I'm not gonna get 174 kills in this game by running around gun on gun, no matter how good I am or how effective I am with UAVs and counter UAVs. Um, you know, it's, it, it would be a lobby by lobby basis, but the kill streaks are putting up so many damn kills and the comsec device helps you get the kill streaks. Now, a lot of people love Stimshot and Stimshot is great if you're using this for like if you're not if you're not trying to get those high kills if you're not going for 100 plus or whatever if you're trying to get uh more gun on gun kills just rank up the weapon yes yeah, Stimshot is always the way to go but when you're trying to be the best at the game and win the game with a high score that's the way to go with the comsec in my personal opinion and the score streaks that i were uh rocked i think are sniper's nest thresher and a uh, strike team which work very very effectively on fire range now when it comes down to it like we say you only get two perks here just because I use so much on the attachments, which I think is the right call here. So what do you put on those two perks? Number one, you're going to put Gung Ho, which is on every single class stuff I think I've ever used in Black Ops 4. I mean, maybe not when the game first came out, but you know what I mean. Like, ever since it's been established, Gung Ho is very, very strong. It's very awesome. And even, like, Dexterity can be great if you combine it with Gung Ho on, like, a SMG Russian more sort of class. But we don't have that availability for this. So we're going with just simply the Gung Ho in perk two. And then we have one more choice. And the choice here is do you want to go with a perk one or a perk three now why the perk ones can save you and they can save your life in certain situations it's sort of random you never really know when or what to expect when you're going to get grenade of course you're trying to avoid those things anyway you're trying to avoid those those uh, little cars that come around and stun you anyway so the third perk i go with is dead silence just because uh people that use that acoustic sensor and i know not as many people use it as they used to but that thing it just it literally shows them where you're coming every single way and it's just super annoying to play against if there's one enemy on the other team that is at least competent or decent of a player and they have that advantage of knowing where you're coming from in a twitch shooter like this they can win fights like that and i think that that is why dead silence is uh so important for me to rock with on this class up instead of going with something like um you know uh Pack mask or flak jacket or some people might ask why not scavenger and the answer for that is scavenger i think is great but in this game honestly if you're playing with a buddy the buddy could use crash or you know if you're partying with any friends you're probably gonna be using crash some of your friends might be using crash i mean i still think the specialist is insane i mean look at this i think i was playing with a couple buddies in this game too and i was using crash other people are using crash so there's there's assault packs all over you don't really have to worry about ammo in that situation um and that's why i like to run with crash and then of course the the other aspect of that is getting the points off of it getting the heals off of it and all of that goes together to make this a deadly class up now i honestly believe this is one of the better class ups in the game at this point i think this is a great weapon i think it's fun to use and i think that if you really understand that sort of middle mid-range weird angle that you can use this weapon on you can do some great work with it honestly very very quick reload it seems with the hybrid mags uh very effective and of course just the nostalgia as well i've been playing call of duty for i mean what i started in like call of Duty 4, and then, um, but I got Call of Duty 4 right before Modern Warfare 2 came out, so 2009 or whatever, and, um, so I've been playing for a while, and the Peacekeeper is one that, it definitely brings back some memories, just because of how this thing, I remember on, sp speaking of this game, because they have Grind, right, the, the map Grind, Peacekeeper on Grind BO2, whenever I play that on BO4, I always just, it, it brings me right back to that BO2, sort of 2010, 
2012, whenever it was, 2013, uh, back in the old days sort of feelings. And I like that weapon for this as well. Of course, nostalgia is a great thing to play on. There's a reason why, I mean, I'm playing with the Peacekeeper on firing range, and this is a new game. So it is a new game, but it's kind of not a new game. You know what I, what I mean by that? And pe people like that, though. That's what we want. I'd much rather have firing range and Nuketown over and over and over again in the game than some crappy new maps that they think are fun, <laughs> you know? But hey, if you can make great new ones, then go for it. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Smack a like on this thing if you guys could. It would be much, much appreciated. More videos coming. Leave in the comment section down below. If you made it to the end of this video, comment peace down in the comment section down below. Comment peace. And also let me know what else do you want to see from me? What other weapons do you want to see an updated class set up with for this summer 2019? There's a bunch of stuff I could cover. Let me know that down in the comment section down below. Thanks for the support. Drop a like, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. And really do appreciate the support. I'm out. Peace.